Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to learn is how to publish an application to the Google Play Store. Uh, the application can be a Xamarin native Android application or Xamarin Forms application. Uh, for both cases it is exactly the same. So to start we're going to create a new application. It will be an Android application in this case. We will set a blank application and this will be publishing demo. So here we have our application and what we need to do is first come to the properties and go to the manifest and double check something. In here you need to have a valid package name. A valid package name is a reverse domain name, which is basically something like this. Com and then I will change this for bit frameworks. And then publishing demo. So in this case it will be okay. Uh, sometimes depending on your version of Xamarin, this will be like sample application or it can be also a blank um, um, a blank text. So you need to make sure that you have a valid package name, otherwise you won't be able to upload it to the Play Store. So after this, uh, we can compile and run it in the emulator. So you see it's a basically a blank application without anything. I will run, sometimes my emulator fails the first time that I'm trying to run an application. I have to cancel, compile again and try to run it. So let's see how it goes. Okay, it ran, so it's there. After this, we're going to stop here. We're going to change this to release because you can only publish release build. So then we're going to rebuild again. And with this, uh, basically we're ready. So it's uh, compiled. So what we need to do is uh, archive it. Archive. And this will create the new archive. So the archive is here and it's good. See, there is a green check there. So we will distribute it. So the first time most people will try to do Google Play, but if you do Google Play, then you have some troubles. I, I will show you in this case. Uh, you select the sign-in identity. If you don't have, you can add one. You just have to fill this form. Then you click continue. Then you select your Google Play account. I'm going to select this one. Continue and then you do production. If you do upload, this will fail. Let me show you. We have to set the password for the um, signing uh, certificate. It will sign the application, but it will say that it's failed because uh, there is no placeholder in Google Play. So that's okay. We will go here and it showed me the application that I have uh, done before. So in this case, what we need to do is again distribute and instead uh, of select Google Play, we'll have to select ad hoc. Here we select the sign-in identity, then we do save as, and I will save it in this directory where I have all the other files that we need to publish the, the application. So, and then you do, I think it's done, I think it's compiled, let me check the folder. Yes, it's here. So the first time you would, that you try to publish to Google Play Store, it will fail because there is no placeholder for the application in Google Play Store that match or application. So you need basically to create it. So that's what we're going to do right now. In the Google Play console, we go to create application. We set the name. This will be publishing app test. Then we do create. And you have to fill like a few forms here. So the description, this will be short description, then long description. Obviously you have to write a valid description, but this is just for as an example. Then you have to, to have some minimum assets. In this case, we're going to put the asset for the phone. Um, let's see, desktop, video assets. 
the screenshot. You need to upload a screenshots. I'm going to load the same in this case because otherwise you won't be able to publish. Done. After we have the eight, is perfect. Then you have you need to publish the the icon, which will be 512 for 512. I already have an icon here. Then a feature graphics. I have just a placeholder image with the size that they require because I don't have any image for this. And then all the other ones are optional because they don't have the asterisk or the start uh, beside the text. So let's go down. Our application type will be application. The category in most cases, the applications that I do are in communication. Content written, we will go through that later. Uh, the website is the website that you have associated to your Google console account and your email is the same. A phone is not required. And then for policy, I will put the privacy policy from my website. You can click this, but in the end you will need something. So um, it's better that we set it already here. Okay, after this, uh, we need to go to some other steps. Uh, content rating first. In here, oh, we need, sorry, uh, app releases. Manage production, create release. And they ask us if we need, if you want to apply app signing. Uh, this is somehow new. It was not here last year, at least at the beginning of the year. Um, so right, right now you can like, opt out if you don't are not going to use it then we need to upload or apk the one that we just built with the studio so that is here it will take a few moments to upload Okay, after this we continue, uh, you have to change this, otherwise um, you will not be allowed to uh, publish. So we're going to write this is our first publication and save. Then we click on review. And then we need to go to content rating. In here, they will ask us some questions first, or email address. And then we copy this and paste it here. Then what type of application is your type? Be sure to read all the possible options. In this case, uh, most of the I do are utilities. So I select utilities and productivity. And then they will ask us some question about violence, type of content, language, and so on. So in this case, I know that for my case, all the answers are no, because I've been publishing like three applications today. So uh, I will go like really fast through this. And when you finish, you uh, click on Save Questionnaire and Calculate Rating. And after that, you can they will calculate your rating and you can apply it. And then uh, we're only missing pricing and distribution here. Our application is a free application. We want it to be available in all the countries. Then it's not target for children. It doesn't contain any ads. It, of course, that will depend on the application that you're uploading. But in this case, it doesn't contain any ads. Um, then the only thing that is required in the end is content content guidelines. Yes, we follow the content guidelines and the US export laws. So we save draft and I think it will say that it were ready to to publish. Yes, see all of them are um, on green. So we click on ready to publish and then we have to go to manage releases, which is going here actually then manage production, then edit release, 
then you have the release that is ready to roll out. So in here, um, we don't need to do anything, basically just review. And then it's ready to roll out, so we can click on the start rollout production. If you click confirm in there, it will start the rolling out uh, step. And you will be able to, to, to see it in the App Store in a few hours. Maybe it takes sometimes like 15 minutes, but some other times say like two hours. So be patient with that. And after that, um, the app will be available for download from the App Store. In this case, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to spam in the App Store. I want to, to have my account clean in that sense. So basically, that's it. And after that, when you confirm and the, the, the app is already published on the App Store, the next time you go to the studio, you can select Distribute, uh, Google Play, sign in identity, the account, and continue. You will be able to upload it directly without having to do all these steps. So this is only the first time. And well, I guess that's it. And that's everything for the video. I hope it helps you and see you guys in the next video.